Welcome to my video game collection. And today I'm gonna talk about WWE Battlegrounds. I gotta say, I only have three Nintendo Switch games so far Mario Kart 8, WWE 2K18, and this game. Of all those three, this is my least favorite of them all. To a point that I'm, where I'm even considering donating this game. That's how much I don't like this. Because this was the first time I experienced that I need an internet connection or... To get certain stuff like... I mean it still does. There's like play, there's also like... Welcome to Bell. It's basically like an introduction. Like, there's also like a store which I can't use because of, you know, internet. There's superstars. There's daily challenges I could do that you can create your own wrestler. But like I said, I need an internet to get this. There's also like a campaign, tournament, King of the Ring. I mean, Exhibition for men, exhibition for women, battleground challenge. See, it, it, it says I need an internet kind of connection. Like, there's one on one, tag team tornado, steel cage, steel cage tag team, gauntlet, wild rumble, regular tag team. Bail four way triple threat. And they have these like facts and like what to do. My favorite Randy Orton's in there, you know, is. One of my favorites, not the favorite. But my favorite on this game is, believe it or not, Yokozuna. Like, because of the infamous. I actually saw him live at the Era of Pondheim back in December 26, 1995, when he lost the Iron Tiger by disqualification due to interference from our heart. There's a timer. I'm gonna. I'm gonna show you like in these games. They usually have like like facts, like what you should do. What's? I'll just skip over this. Well, this is taking a long time to. Yeah. Background is kind of like, you know that WrestleMania arcade game where you punch someone and they go flying through the air? You know the WrestleMania arcade game for the Super Nintendo and the Sega? Like, when you punch stuff, stuff comes out of them and... It's kind of like that, like... There's the intro for Yokozuna... Yeah, they have come out of these crates for some reason, but like, when I when they come out of those crates, I always think of Abdul the Butcher because Abdul the Butcher you made his debut in WCW and come out of that box, come out not okay, no, no, but a box like. And here's opponent. As you can see here, the they're so like so small, like they kind of remind me of those Equestria Girls me dolls. Like, let me show you. Bum, 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 bum. They're kind of like they're kind of like the. Flesh color version of those Equestria Girls mini dolls I still collect. 
by the way I'm still looking for them online they kind of look like that and as you can see here the gameplay is like somewhat similar to the WrestleMania arcade game with their extreme over the top moves like even for like very cartoony that's the expression cartoony and using as you saw right there there was like a power up like like boo like like he's going super saiyan there's also commentary by Jerry Lawrence, somebody else, I don't know. And he has like all these power ups right there. Like, if you press a certain button, you'll get that certain power up temporarily. I know Yokozuna is like the punch or something. As you can see, Yokozuna, well, Yokozuna. Whenever a wrestler gets pounded, like, they usually see, like, stars. I'm gonna stop right now, so. I try to quit the game, and there's, like, confetti coming out. <laughs> well, there you have it. W.E. Battlegrounds. Next time I'm gonna, we're gonna take a look at the world of, should I go for, yeah, next time we're gonna go for the world of N64, bye.